Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Welcome to Vlogmas. If you're new here, my name is Megan Dorman. I'm a wellness coach and I normally post videos pertaining to wellness on this channel every Monday, but for the month of December, I committed to get better at YouTube, to grow this audience, um, and I am therefore posting every day in the month of December. So some of this content beers a little from my standard nutrition, fitness, wellness, clean, non-toxic beauty, that sort of thing. Today is one of those days. Um, I would like to have a little fireside chat about Santa Claus and Jesus. Um, a friend of mine asked me recently, she has a baby, and um, so I think they're kind of like deciding, are we gonna, like, are we gonna tell him that there's a Santa Claus or are we not? Like, what are we gonna do? And I, we have many friends who um, are, we're Christians, and when I say Christians, I mean like we are Christ followers, like we worship Jesus kind of Christians. Um, and we also do the Santa thing. My kids are not home right now, which is why I feel free to tell you about this. And I just want to break it down for um, anybody who cares about kind of where that delineation falls. If you have a baby and you're making your own decision, um, or if you've already made your decision and you just kind of want to hear another mom extrovert it a little bit, that's what this is. So we have some friends, what I started to say, some other Christ-following, Jesus-worshiping friends who have elected not to do Santa in their house, meaning like he is pretend, presents are from mommy and daddy, like we're not gonna, we're not gonna go through the ruse. And there are some very strong reasons for Christ-followers to do that. I can totally see why someone would make that choice we made a different choice, but it was in fact an intentional choice. We didn't feel like we were just going along with the whims of culture and like, well, everybody else believes in Santa, so I guess we gotta, I guess we gotta do it too. Like, I don't feel victimized by culture in any way. I intentionally chose to participate and I don't regret it. But I also have no feelings or opinions about somebody else who chooses not to participate because there's some really strong reasons why Christ following families might not want to do that. Here are some things that have I have pondered in the past and heard from other people. The first one that I, the first one that comes to mind is I mean, are, we're lying to our children. Like when you tell them that there's this person that comes down the chimney in the middle of the night and leaves presents for them, and it says, "Dear Johnny, love Santa on the gift." Like I bought that. <laughs> with my money. And there is a part of me that wants credit for it too because they ask him for the coolest stuff on their list. And so, especially if it's expensive, number one, if it was hard to find, number two, if they're gonna be super geeked out over it, number three, I want the credit for that. So there is a part of me that kind of wants Santa to phone it in a little bit. Like, I don't want, like, Santa's not getting credit for like the big, huge, awesome surprise. If they get a big, huge, awesome surprise, that's from me. Santa gets whatever like the number two or number three thing was on their list just so we keep the thing going. That's my personal opinion. But okay, so are we lying to our children? I could make a case that we are. I can tell like, even if you don't, come, like we don't ever come right out and say, Santa will be here in 30 minutes so you better go to sleep. Like we kind of dodge and evade and leave it up to their imaginations. But just as we teach our children to have integrity, a, an omission of fact or leading someone to believe something is the same as lying, really. So I'm not gonna try to split hairs with you and be like, oh, well, because we don't like come right out and say Santa is real, then we're not lying to our children. Like, if, you're, if you are a leading someone to believe something that you know already not to be true, then, I mean, that's a lie. So I could totally, totally make a case that yes, we are lying to our children. I could also make a case that it is, I don't know if it's like a lie for a good reason. I don't like the semantics of it really trip, trip me up. I don't, I don't, I don't have a good way of explaining it, but I feel fine about our choice. Um, we are, we are allowing them to participate in fantasy for a very short number of years. They won't believe forever. And while they do, it's pretty magical. And I never have regretted 
believing in Santa during my childhood years. Um, and neither has my husband. Like, it was fun. We loved it. I was sad when I found out, like, because the magic is so fun. Like, even if you know, like, even if your logical brain, you're, you're starting to get to an age where you're like, this doesn't make sense. Like, as much as I want to believe, I just can't. That this, this is impossible. Like, once you get to that age, still, when you find out, like, for sure, for sure, it's like, I mean, I knew it, but that, that still sucks. Like, I wish it was true. Because it's so, it's so cool. Like, the idea of it is so cool. The magic of it is so cool. Like, you really want it to be true. So, I do remember it being painful going, like, graduating to the other, to the side of knowledge. And I do want to protect my children from that pain. But at the same time, I think it's worth it. It was worth, it's worth it to me in hindsight. I, I'm glad that my parents allowed me those years of believing. I remember being at my grandparents' house with all my cousins. Um, they had like this bottom floor, like this split level house. So, like the whole main house was on one floor. And then like a couple bedrooms were up on a, like a half floor. And then a couple bedrooms were down on a half floor. But most of the house was in the middle. So we were down in like the little split level bottom. And it was like under the ground. Like you looked out the windows and you were looking at the grass. It was so cool. So we were down in like the basement, I guess, um, bedroom. And I remember being in there with all my cousins and my dad and my uncles would like get up on the roof and make all these like clomping sounds. And we legit thought that it was reindeer. And we were freaking out, like all huddled up in sleeping bags. Like, he's here. He's here, you know, and like that is so fun. I I do not regret that for one minute. Um, some of those memories and like trying to catch him and baking cookies and leaving him out for the reindeer and writing letters and being just like so thrilled that Santa thought enough of us to come, you know, and like bring us these beautiful like Barbie houses or whatever it was. Um, when my husband was a kid, there's such a sweet story of him. I, fr I wish he was here so I could ask him what the thing was. I'll put it in the as a comment under this video when my mother-in-law reminds me. But he got something that he was excited about when he was little. And um, he's, he looks at her and he says, and he's so excited about the thing. And he says, wasn't that nice of Santa? I mean, just breaks your heart, doesn't it? What a cutie pie. He's still a cutie pie. Um, so anyways, all that being said, like, are we lying to our children? I guess, but like, it's fantasy. Like, I don't know, it just sort of feels like, it feels like dress up on steroids. Like it feels like next level pretend that we already do. So it doesn't bother me and it was worth it. It was worth it to me as a child and I want them to have those kind of magical memories that I have from childhood. The other thing is, um, could do, does Santa and all of that, like, could it overshadow Jesus, which is the whole reason for all of this? Like, there's a song that we're going to be leading our church in um, during our Christmas service coming up, and it, uh, the bridge of the song, it's, the song is called See the Light. Um, actually, Eric and I did it for one of these Vlogmas videos. You can go look in the playlist. Um, but the bridge says, all, all of this for your glory. All of this is for your glory. Like that's what Christmas is about. The reason we give our children gifts in the first place or to anyone else for that matter is because we are commemorating the greatest gift that was ever given to humankind. That God forfeited his son to come down to humble himself. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Regent of all Regents appeared as a weak, helpless, defenseless, baby infant child in a manger with a bunch of stinky cows. Like he could have come in pomp and circumstance and he did not. And he also could have lived forever and avoided crucifixion and he did not. So the fact that God gave everything for us in the person of Jesus is the whole reason why we give gifts. Period. End of story. Like, don't get it twisted, kids. The PS4 games, the new sparkly wedge shoes, the baby dolls that blink, and all the things. Like, the whole entire reason why there are any gifts at all on Christmas from mommy, from daddy, from Santa, from whoever, is because we are commemorating, remembering, giving honor to the greatest gift of the whole entire world, which was Jesus Christ who saved our lives. So could the whole idea that Santa brings gifts instead of presents or instead of parents doing it, like could that overshadow the reason for the season? Like if you let it, but we don't let it, like 
we are Christ following Jesus worshiping people. And that is what Christmas is in this house. Santa is like a fun extra. Like it's a fun and, and to be honest, Santa is a tool for me as a parent to create more excitement, more anticipation around a season that I need to be a teaching moment for them. I need them to know how big of a deal it was that God sent Jesus to this earth in the form of a human. Like I need them to get that that is huge. And so I like we need to celebrate all December long for like as all the carols, all the cookies, all the eggnog, all the decorating of the trees, all the presents, like give all the neighbors gifts and um, donate to every organization and sponsor families and show up for food drives. Like we need to do all the things so that they get how big of a deal Jesus is. And Santa is like part of, is like one of the funnest things about December, about Christmas. And so like them getting excited about him just brings more excitement to the season that I'm trying to use as a teaching moment. So Santa's on my side as far as I see it. All right, so the another thing uh, that this is like kind of the main crux of the matter that I really did worry about and spend some time uh, really praying about, honestly, and uh, soul searching. Like, okay, so once they find out, once they find out that it's us and that we led them to believe that there was this mythical man coming to bring presents, are they going to start doubting that God is real as well? They can't see God with their eyeballs. They can't hear his voice audibly, most people. Um... So like, are they gonna doubt? Once they find out, are they, are they gonna doubt that God is real too? And here's where I landed on that. Just like how I said, like, well, Santa can't overshadow Jesus if we don't let him, you know, like we're the parents. We set the culture in this home and we set the thermostat to worship. <laughs> like that, that's the culture of our home. Jesus runs the roost here all year long, not just in December. So if Santa isn't real and God isn't either, that's a risk, but where where I landed on that was I finally decided, you know what? I feel like that's insulting to both my children and to God because he is chasing after them. Like he is a God of reckless love that his heart is that not a single sheep should ever be lost. Leaves the 99 for the one, like that's God. He is going to be chasing them with fervor every day of their life. And so I'm not going to worry about their faith. I'm going to foster their faith. I'm going to pray for their faith and their salvation. And then it's a real thing to them and not just something that they do for us. But I'm, I, I don't think it's fragile. I'm not worried about it. Um, and I want it to be their own anyways. I want them to wrestle with, is God real or isn't he? And come up with their own answer. I want them to wrestle with that because I have no doubt in my mind that God's going to win because he is in fact real. And they see him and feel him and watch the, watch the answered prayers and the miracles in their life all the time. So I grew up believing. I'm glad I grew up believing. I later found out he wasn't real. I was disappointed for a spell. Then I got over it and I never doubted the reality of God because of Santa. There were certainly times in my life when I wrestled with his reality, but it wasn't because of that. <laughs> and um, I'm grateful for those periods as well. There's, there is blessing and revelation um, and maturity. There, is, there are a load of gifts that come from, from trying your faith, from testing it and, and seeing what comes out afterwards. So I regret nothing. We do Santa around here. We mostly do Jesus, but we also do some Santa. And I feel great about it. I also don't judge you if you make a different choice because I can make a case either way, to be honest. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you enjoy these kind of videos and you want to stay up to speed on the remainder of my Vlogmas throughout the rest of the month of December, then please make sure you are subscribed to the channel and also hit that little bell icon so you'll get notified every time there's a new video and you won't miss a single episode. That's a lot of me. And please leave a comment. I would love to hear from you on this matter. If there's something that you want to add to the conversation, um, I would love to. So thanks for being here. We will be back to our regularly scheduled wellness content in another episode. Um, but this was fun for me. So I pray that you have a very Merry Christmas 
and that the God of all hope and peace and joy just permeates your household and so that you can be filled up and be a bringer of those things to the hurting world around you. Merry Christmas.